Uh, hey guys. Um, woo. Yeah, lady. Love it. Love it. Smart. Fucking. Isn't <laughs> she great? Big round of applause, folks. Uh, I saw a video. I saw a video on YouTube recently. It's a road just like this, four lane road, and then a big truck makes there's a left hand turn but it's a double solid yellow so he's not allowed to make a left hand turn so it's just like this blue truck up ahead but it was a bigger truck he, he cut off both lanes and it just made a left hand turn over both lanes and there was a guy on a scooter going quick and he probably had time to stop but he just he didn't he decided to swerve around one of the oncoming lane to go around the back of the truck goes in the oncoming lane there's another truck head on he clips the back of the truck that's blocking both lanes and then and then falls over in front of the truck that's coming head on and it goes over his head and he was fine, just a couple of bruises. No, he died. So, yeah. And uh, my wife commented that a lot of a lot of crashes are like that. It's when people could just people when, when there's something blocking the road, they just go into the oncoming lane to, to pass it, and they end up getting hit on, head on or whatever. When they could just uh, when they could just stop, really. Gudung, 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 gudung. One of the bad things about riding really early is that there's a lot of insects out. At dusk and dawn, that's when the most insects are flying around. So if you wake up before the sun, when you're, I'm riding out to meet these guys, and I'm going fast because you know I don't, I don't, I, I'm kind of rushed in the morning, and uh, I just get covered in insects by the time, by the time after like just 20 minutes of riding. The sun's a bit higher in the sky now. It should be better, hopefully. Okay, okay, enough of the excuses. He's just quicker than me, okay? Okay, leave it at that. And he's on a Hayabusa. <laughs> I've always got that at my defense, you know? I've got 70 horsepower. He's got like 180 at least, maybe more. Probably more, he's probably got like 200 horsepower versus my 70. So he's got double and a half my horsepower. 150% more horsepower than me. Oh, he just killed a bird. 50% more horsepower than me. Oh, he just killed a bird. Did you guys see that? He just, he just really killed a bird. So sad. <laughs> Last time I rode with these guys was the time I, I saved the bird. I got a video where I save a bird. And, uh, and then this time I ride with these guys and they kill a bird. What's with the birds? Not only did he kill the bird, but then one of the guys behind us went over it. But that's probably a good thing. To make, make sure. Put it out of its misery, right? But it wasn't going to fly again after being hit by a Hayabusa, that's for sure. Speaking of which, why is it that we don't, it's just amazing, you know, like, Babao's getting old, and uh, she's, she's getting more vicious as she gets older. She's bitten a couple of people recently. But they're Asian people, so it's not like it really matters. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, so she's bitten a couple of people recently, and then someone commented to me that once a dog gets old and starts biting people unexpectedly, it's, it's time to put it down. And I'm like... Well, she's still healthy, you know, she's still healthy and active, she's kind of a bit premature, don't you think? But it, you know, we're, as humans, we are that way about dogs, you know, it's like, if they get old, 
okay, put them down. If they get a bit vicious, put them down. Uh, if they start like walking with difficulty, maybe a little bit of pain, okay, put them down. It's like, but then when, when it comes to other humans, like our parents or whatnot, it's like, okay, they're, their, their whole body has fucking cancer. They're on chemotherapy. Their fucking hair fall, falling out. They're in pain 24-7. They're on painkillers to, 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 to help stabilize the pain. But regardless, they're still... They're still... Um, uh, they're still, you know, in agony all the time. And, and, and still they're trying, like, well, you know, they're just pumping drugs, pumping drugs into them. It's like, put them down, you know, like... I don't want to, you know, it's, it, it's like, <laughs> it's cruelty to let a dog live with a painful limp. But it's perfectly fine to drag your parents' death out for like an extra three years of medication and painkillers. Where's the freaking logic, eh? You know, people talk about, people talk about, whoa, what was that? People talk about, uh, dogs, um, you know, animals not feeling pain as acutely as humans and whatnot, which I think is mostly bullshit. But then, well, and I say mostly, I don't think it's total bullshit because, you know, you've seen dogs, I've seen dogs that get like, whoa. I've seen dogs that get caught in like traps, you know, like a fox trap or whatever. And they get their freaking leg cut off. And there's, and you know, like in two minutes later, they're walking along with, a, you know, they're walking along fine. And it's like, if I just had my leg cut off, I don't think I, five minutes later you'd see, you'd see me just walking along. But then again, it's like, for a dog, it's like do or die, right? Like maybe if I was in the war or something and I had my leg cut off and then I knew if I just sat around doing nothing, I'd die. So, so then maybe I'd, I'd, I'd get up and limp along or something. But still, I don't understand. I'm getting hit by all these plants. 